And while people in sensitive groups have been told to stay indoors to protect their health, others are taking it in stride. Fox 5's Rob Durienzo joins us now out on the Fox 5 weather deck. R Rob, are people actually heeding the warning to stay inside? Well, Russ, for some people, they definitely are. Others tell me they're just not going to be deterred, but they're definitely slowing down. I spoke with members of the Atlanta Track Club who tell me they're not going to run from the smoke, so they'll run through it. As soon as you see it, you're, you're thinking it's probably not the best time to run outdoors. But Atlanta Track Club volunteer Alice Pate kept on, just like she has for the last 934 days, despite the wildfire smoke coating Metro Atlanta right now. She says she noticed it not just in the skies. I could taste it, right? It's it's just not it's not good <laughs> good to run. And so we're generally pushing back on our paces, slowing down, making sure that our intervals are slow. You honestly kind of get more dry in the mouth, kind of like a chalky. The group of runners, along with countless other athletes, didn't shy away from getting their steps in at Piedmont's Active Oval Tuesday night. Meanwhile, the air quality index is at dangerous levels for people with conditions like heart or lung disease, or older adults, children, and teens. You want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on the numbers, the AQI in particular, and making sure that you are not doing any sort of vigorous exercise on days that the AQI is high. Because of that, some people, even without underlying conditions, are sticking indoors as much as possible. I've changed being outside a lot because it's hot, uh, for one. Um, but yes, definitely because I have bad allergies and I don't want any of this fog or smoke to affect it. Pete says the heat is a factor for them too, but at the end of the day. You just have to listen to your body, make sure that you slow down when you need to, make sure that you hydrate enough. And for now, there is a light at the end of the smoke, so to speak. You heard David Chanley say a moment ago, there are showers moving in that will help clear some of this out. Meanwhile, a lot of these Canadian wildfires are still out of control, so we may see more in the weeks and months to come. For now, that's the latest from here, live on the weather deck. Rob Urienzo, Fox 5 News. It has been a strange sight so far away. Rob, thanks very much.